long time he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 129 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Lover. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, what a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Here we go, first round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, that 
that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. What a body kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times at the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. It was horrible. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice head kick. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Nice punch land over the top. Side leg kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Let's get busy with those hands now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Just unable to quite find that ring. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And he switches his stance yet again. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Beautiful body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. You won that last round. He was all over you. You're better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. And he landed the right hand there. Head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that 
next hit. Oh, huge Superman punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Punch over the top. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. So a much different is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you've been hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Knee to the body. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. All right, stay relaxed. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Huge block there. Went for the inside leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Slips to avoid the right. What a tricky head kick. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Look at the whip action. No one stands after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough one to even be on speed right now. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Back to the feet now. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful legs. Can't take many of those, you better check. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Big head kick lands. Very crazy when he throws that body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Oh! oh straight rights! That one landed clean. How about those five minutes? Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Real sneaky body kick. Nice, sneaky head kick. Continues to eat power shots here. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Big kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Pretty good right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Got the single collar tie. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head for the clinch. Nice punch land. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice body kick right on the elbow. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for you. Big kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful punch. Go finish this fight. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt fast. He's hurt fast, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Press forward, get that takedown. Final seconds of round three. Oh. oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. What a round.
Here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Oh, now he stuns him. It's all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's reconvert. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Quick leg kick. Oh! hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Big kick lands. Oh, straight right. Oh, wicked nice leg kick. Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, nice right here. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. That's a big strike right there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Big body kick. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. Gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's just unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got a bang! He needs to move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks for oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot 
that ended the fight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly 